cycle of improvement. Training as a sportsman is a very long and tough journey. You will go through years of training, competing, and at times, no matter how you train, how hard you train, how much time and effort you put in, you find that you are just not good enough. You can't improve, you're not as fast, you're not as skillful as your peers. Now in this video, I'm going to share my experience and give you my two cents worth. No, I'm not going to tell you, you know, just work hard or work smart because that is a given. However, what I'm going to share is beyond time and effort. Now, ready or not, open up your ears, open up your heart, and let's get started. Here, I'm going to talk about this cycle of improvement, whereby you're going to create this cycle, a loop, a total of five points. And these five points will actually go in reverse order, meaning to say, I'll give you the point of five, followed by four, three, two, one, uh, in reverse order. Once you come to the first point, you then understand why these points are uh, in sequence. Now, for the last point, I'm going to say, stop trying, start reflecting. Stop trying doing the same wrong things again and again. Instead, start reflecting every time you make a mistake, how can I improve? And then correct it, practice. I made another mistake, correct. Practice again. Oh, it is much better because the desired results um, is being attained. Practice the correct way and then from there, that's how you create a cycle of continuous improvement. Point number four is this. Improve one small aspect at a time. Find one specific area that you want to target um, in terms of improvement. Figure out how can you improve it. Take this for example, you want to improve the power of your shots. What you can do is see how you can fundamentally improve your physique in order for you to be stronger and therefore you improve your shots or how about the technique right activations of your hip activations of your lower body um, in order to generate harder shots so these would be the aspects that you will target specifically um, so that you can work towards the improvement of the power of your shots moving on to point number three which is to empty yourself and accept criticism now when I say empty yourself, just imagine yourself as a glass of water, right? If the water is there, you will not be able to pour in more water. Empty yourself. Whenever you come to a new situation, a learning situation, accept constructive feedback, accept sometimes negative criticism, and use that to, whether is it to spur yourself on or to correct yourself. Come to the second point. Ego and pride is worthless. These are baggages that we carry upon ourselves uh, in our daily lives. You need to get into a situation, the awareness, that if your ego and pride is at stake, what is it more worthwhile? For it to let it go and reap the benefits in terms of improvement again? Or because of ego and pride, you refuse to change, you refuse to improve, you refuse, you refuse to listen? Think about it. And now comes to the first point. You got to improve yourself as a human being. One of the very core aspects of my coaching is I tell my players they have to be a good human being. Because once you are a better human being, not only you are a better player, you are a better teammate, you are a better leader, better listener, and understanding things are a lot more faster. So after reviewing all the points, let's review back in sequence. Number one, once you improve yourself as a human being, net, automatically you will not put ego and pride at front. You will be able to empty yourself, be able to accept criticism, be able to extract, uh, accept constructive feedback, and from there you, go, you would be able to identify areas to improve one at a time. And by doing so, you will stop doing the wrong things all the time, and the continuous feedback will create this cycle of improvement. I hope to hear good news from you soon. And with that, if there's any other topic you would like me to talk about, um, do put in the comments and I'll see you 